Hey y'all. Hey everybody. So as y'all can tell from the title of the video, we are officially starting on Baby Bumps Nursery. And I don't even know if I gave y'all a hint. So I gave my TikTok a hint um, about her name. So as y'all can tell, I have on the letter N necklace. So that is the first initial of our first name. But that's all y'all getting because y'all not going to know her name until... I ain't telling y'all her name until probably the day of the baby shower, okay? That's when y'all will find out her name. So um, stay tuned for that. But like I said, I did give TikTok like a little hint. So I'm going to give YouTube a little hint. And that is the first initial of her first name, which is an N. Um, yeah, and it's a totally separate name. Like somebody asked me like, is it like uh, represent like your boyfriend's name, anything like that? Nope. My name start with a T, his name start with a B. And you know, got nothing to do with us, okay? So that is the first initial of our first name. So, y'all, I am going to set up this little nursery cart. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get Ollie back here so y'all can kind of see. So, basically, um, I've been seeing like a lot of girls. Hold on, let me get my water because y'all know me, I gotta have my water close by. My water gotta be close to me. So, I see, I've been seeing like a lot of girls on TikTok or a lot of moms. I got to start referring to us as moms and not girls. I've been seeing a lot of moms on TikTok. They do like a little, like a little bedside nursery cart or whatever. So instead of like having to get up in the middle of the night, hey, y'all, to like go get a pamper or go get a, a wipe or whatever, they put like a little bedside little cart together too. And I mean, for me, I live in an apartment, so I don't have like an upstairs, downstairs. So if I do have to get up in the middle of the night and go to like the next room, it really won't be a big deal for me. But I definitely see it for like people who live in like houses and stuff like that. Um, because they don't have to go downstairs and get other stuff. Um, you having a girl? Yep, I'm having a girl, as y'all can tell. Okay, y'all. So I got these Hello Kitty stickers. So I just got the idea that I might stick some of these Hello Kitty stickers on this bedside cart, but I'm also going to decorate her bottles with these. Um I see another girl do this, so she kind of got like little um, transfer stickers for her baby bottles, and I want her things kind of to be like Hello Kitty-ish, like kind of all, honestly, all cartoons, but Hello Kitty mainly, so I did buy some of these for her bottles. I don't have any bottles for her just yet, but we will have some coming real soon. Sassy, stop! Stop, stop, stop. I'm alive. So we will have some bottles coming soon. I might go get a bottle today because I'm thirsty. Just so I can kind of like practice one because I'm so excited. So we'll see. I might go get some bottles today to kind of share out my idea. But basically just kind of put like some little stickers on the bottles. Um, What app do you use for your business? Shopify. So we're going to get this card together. Hopefully it don't take all day. I don't think it's going to take all day. I don't think it's going to be too hard because it looks like it's kind of like a one, two, three. And that's really it. So um. They do come with like instructions and also come with meals. I have carpet. So this is going to be baby bumps room, but as y'all can tell, her dresser and her crib is getting put up on Friday. So the next time y'all see me, like this is going to be nursery video number one. But the next time y'all see, we'll probably, this probably will be all the way up. And it is white and this is all hardwood. We're real wood. And it's a white, um, She's going to have a white crib and then a white dresser also. And the crib has a changing table, as y'all can tell. It has like a changing table on it and everything. But of course, as time goes on, honestly, y'all keep saying as time go on. But when I look at the calendar, I can see her birthday. So we really have like three months left. Of, like, I think we're down to like 100 days, which is crazy. That's, that's real crazy because, let me see. Let me look at the countdown. So... We have 105 days left. Um, and of course, y'all know babies sometimes like to come a little bit before. My mama said that, well, they say that if you were early, your baby will be early. If you were late, it be late. I was two weeks early. Um, I'm hoping that she don't come two weeks early because if she comes two weeks early, that means she'll be born during the 4th of July weekend. And if y'all have known me, I've had this same, I've had this same talk forever i always said i do not want a holiday baby and i just got a feeling that guys want to give me a holiday baby like it's just crazy but i mean i'm gonna be grateful whenever she comes in july so yeah okay y'all 
So I feel like that's what's gonna happen. But hopefully she don't come two weeks early. Hopefully if she come like a week early, I'll be happy because that's the week at the at the fourth of July. But I was I was supposed to be born October 23rd and I came October 9th. So honestly speaking, that's like what three weeks. I don't know. This is the instructions right here, y'all. Y'all know people, we don't read instructions, but honestly, you ain't even reading no instructions. It's just pictures. It's just pictures. So it's just saying A1, B, C, D. Oh no, nah, y'all. I'm I'm oh no. Nah. Y'all, we might have to. What's A1? See y'all, y'all remember the last time I was on live trying to build something? It took forever. It took forever. Okay, this is they don't got a label or nothing. Oh no, nah, y'all. A and B. Where's B? But what y'all doing? Like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm excited to um, get this nursery going. A, what's C? I'm ready to get this nursery going for sure. Because I feel like once the nursery, this is B. Oh, okay. It's just telling you what to do. So, A at the bottom. Okay, this A at the bottom. Okay. Then it say put a little peg. Oh, this ain't gonna work, huh? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it for y'all. Let me let me get this together. Okay, this is A. Then they saying number one, press both the holes and peg board with the poles to the bottom of the basket. Make sure the peg board is facing downward. The concave edge is downward. How am I supposed to know what the concave edge is? So we just go put it like that. Yeah, but the last time I was live, I had to like stop and start the live so many times. Hey, you watch my latest vlog. I was to say yesterday. Y'all like it? And the vlog yesterday, I don't know. Like the vlog from yesterday was okay. Like in terms of like like my mood, but I wanted to kind of tell y'all and show y'all like the real deal, like how sometimes some days just be better than other days, to be honest. And the last vlog was kind of like a rough week for me, which is last week and a part of this week. But we're gonna get through it. We got through it, we got through it. Okay, y'all. So that's number one. So step number one. Um, but also too, like in the last vlog, I was kind of just basically saying how like I was basically talking about. I feel like um, I'm not, I don't really have much people who's like interested in like me as a mom. Like I feel like people that's on this page kind of like or the, on this channel follow me for business stuff. And I did get people who say that they did follow me for business stuff only. But like I was telling my friend, I started this page back in 2020 when I was still in college. So once you trans like transition and like grow and mature, like your life don't stay the same. Like I'm not the same person I was when I was in college. Like I'm not a 23 year old anymore. I'm 28 this year. So I feel like when you are a content creator, your content changes with your life. And people just either go have to accept it or they don't. And then same thing with like I was telling my friend too, Rika, like some of the girls that I used to watch on um youtube that used to do like natural hair a lot of them has got married a lot of them have kids now so people lives don't stay the same like if your life's still the same after four years you something's probably going that you have to change like nobody should still be saying living the same lifestyle that they were living um it's 2020 the glucose Test that drink is disgusting after finish the test. Just had it come out. Sorry for the TMI. That's one thing I couldn't hold in my stomach. Girl, I gotta take the glucose test. Honestly, you just be mad at me. I might take my glucose test this week. To be honest, I need to take it. Um, they had sent the lab my lab work over and they took me I can go any day. So honestly, I might probably go tomorrow, maybe to take the glucose test. But I've been hearing mixed reviews like, like some people say it's good, some people say it's nasty, some people say like they vomit it up and stuff. I don't know. I'm nervous because I haven't vomited since uh 15 weeks. So maybe I don't even want to see 
I don't even want to see nothing like that. So, so we'll see how the glucose test go. I'm going to definitely record it for TikTok, of course, and for YouTube. I'm going I'm to record it for next week's vlog. Or I might, we'll see. I might go, I might go tomorrow or I might go next week. What's next week? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when I'm going to go. But yeah, the glucose test, I don't know. I just don't want to fail it because I know when you fail it, you got to, Come back again and stay for the three hour one, baby. I don't got, I don't got time for the three hour, um, no three hour test. Okay, let me stand up. Oh, y'all, why I feel like? Oh no, that's right, that's right. Let me see. I was gonna say, y'all, I think I put this thing upside down. Oh no, when I was doing like them little white shells, that's how I was, that's how I was gonna tell y'all. Last time I was on live, trying to put something together was those white shells I got in my room. And y'all, I put them all together upside down. So this was kind of easy to install. This wasn't too hard. This wasn't too hard. It wasn't too bad. So this is what it looks like now. Now, only thing I gotta do is put it on the wheels and like the little thing, this little cart. Y'all, why would I go live? People want to be outside my window. Like, why is you outside the window talking? Okay, so look. Oh, this is going to be cute. It's kind of short. It's kind of short. But I think it's going to be cute. And then I could just put, like, you know, the top part will probably be, like, some wipes and some diapers. And then, like, a little first aid kit. And then we're going to have, like, my pump and stuff, some blankets. What else I've been seeing? Pumping stuff, blankets, probably some socks. Um, well, no, the socks are at the bottom. Like, little clothes are all at the bottom. The middle section probably would be like some little body wash, some little lotion, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Because I can roll this into the bathroom, too. Um, yeah, once it's done, it's done. So, yeah, I, I'm not really... I'm, I don't really think, I'm not really too, too worried about the glucose test. Honestly, simply because I know gestational diabetes, like, I mean, if you get it, usually it kind of goes away um, with the pregnancy or whatever. So it's not really like a, to me, I'm not really looking at it as a big deal. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really that concerned about it. Hey, it's your first time catching my live. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking. So how did you find me? So like, I still be trying to think like how do um I be still trying to figure out like how YouTube push out the lives. Like, are you subscribed to me and you see me I was on live, or was you just like scrolling on what I guess your homepage and seeing I was on live? Because I wonder how YouTube do it. Because honestly speaking, I only see people that's live that I follow, so what I'm subscribed to. Yeah, okay. Now I'm pushing in these wheels. And then I think we're gonna be done. Yeah, I done put both of the stopper wheels. Let me see. Oh well. I put I put both of the stopper wheels on the same side, but it don't really matter. I don't really think it does. Okay, I just the last one, last one. I think we're done. Okay. Okay, Ooh, okay, I got it. Oh, this is cute. But like I said, I got carpet, so I don't think it's gonna roll the way I want it to roll. You subscribe, okay. One thing I'll tell you, since I watch other friends, when you do lives like vertical, they bring more views and more subscribers. Yeah, but I don't like doing vertical lives because I don't like I don't like when it has like the black lines right there. So I just do live for my Twitter. Okay, it is rolling. It's rolling. It'll roll enough. Like I said, I my room is right next door, so I don't have to go too, too far with this little cart. But the bathroom and my kitchen and then, like, my front room is all um, hardwood floor. So it'll roll. Like, when we in the, in the front room chilling and I feel like getting up, I can just roll the cart in there and just have everything that I need right there because i got this company i reached out to this company this, this is another good thing about being um 
a full-time creator, okay? I reached out to this company because I want like the little bedside bassinet where you can like put her in or put the baby in and then like it kind of folds down right next to your bed. So I reached out to a company and was like, hi, I'm a creator, I'm a new mom, yada, 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 whatever I said. And girl, they sent it to me for free. So I'm going to have that little thing I can push around. So like her little bassinet will be portable to push around. And then this cart is portable to push around. So we gonna be able to go around my house. The car is cute. Thank you. Yes, I do. I like the car. So then it comes with like, oh, it comes with like the little two little. So it comes with like two little cups, so I can put like thermometer in here, probably phone charger or something in here. We'll see. So I put one right there. And of course, I'm out of breath because y'all know that's what I do. And yeah, I put the other one right down here or something. So stuff can fit in both of these little carts. And it also comes with like little packs. I'm trying to see. I think I want to put I want to put this little Hello Kitty. I'm trying to see which will be the front. No, nah, this ain't going to fit. That's too big. That's too big. But I can probably put a couple like little Hello Kitties. In the front, y'all want me to see? I can do that too. I can do that too. But they come like these little pegs, and I can also hang stuff on them. So, like a little bib or some bibs or whatever, whatever else. Oops, whatever else babies will need. Okay, like I told y'all, I'm still. Oh, y'all, why I think I put them upside down. Don't tell me I put these upside down. Because I did say make sure it's facing forward. Y'all. I think I put the pegs upside down. Well, no, no, I didn't. I couldn't have because these sticking. Let me just see. Let me see. I think. Okay, there you go. Y'all yeah, finna be saucy. Okay, there you go. I ain't put it upside down. I ain't put it upside down. I was just press it hard. I wasn't pressing hard enough. Or well, maybe just these just this one just ain't accurate. Cause I couldn't. Okay, there you go. That one, this one stuck. I think that one just wasn't accurate. But I got like a little peg so y'all see I can hang something on it. I can hang some little stuff on it or whatever. But y'all, I figure out everything. Of course, like, I feel like, of course, like, when you, like, doing, like, stuff like this, you will have an idea of, like, how you want to decorate it or how you want to fix it. But then you will just never know what you're going to actually use, what you're going to actually need until baby gets here. Just like with anything else. Like, even when I got sassy, I had so much stuff for sassy that I did and didn't use. So it's all kind of, to me, it's like a learning, like a little learning curve, to be honest. So, of course, like, I'm probably going to have this thing fully loaded Probably gonna have this thing fully loaded by the time next month come. But then by the time she come, I'm pretty sure that I'll have different stuff arranged differently and stuff like that. Hey, you're gonna be a great mom. Thank you. I'm excited. Y'all, and I redid my hair this morning too. I redid my hair this morning. And then I just put like these little curls in it. I use like the little heatless curler thing, like y'all know the little thing you put on top of your head and then you wrap it around. Yeah, I did that. And y'all, I've been going with no lashes for a minute. And I feel like I've been liking my little no lash look. But I'm about to get back to it. Oh, another thing I did buy is this little thing. But it's not setting up. So I don't know if I really want to. I don't know. Maybe I got to stuff it with some stuff. Stuff it with some stuff. Wow. How descriptive is that? Stuff it with some things. But this is like a little laundry basket. So like, you know. Um, cause I'm going to be, cause I think I got about, she got about 10 items now that I've purchased. And of course I can put them all in here and go wash them and stuff like that. So y'all know, I just been doing like little stuff, like little stuff, just little stuff. Nothing real too deep. Hold on, I have to turn the fan on cause I'm hot and I'm out of breath and I'm hot. But y'all, they finna put this crib together and this dresser. And it's going to be no longer 
no longer is going to be my content room. It's going to be her room now. Even though, obviously, she's not going to be sleeping in here overnight by herself. So, but y'all know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Because, but I know for a fact, Sassy, she's going to be up here. I know for a fact, as soon as get put up on uh, Friday, Sassy finna put her big old self up inside this bed. But one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna deprive her, I'm not gonna deprive Sassy of getting inside of here because I want her to be familiar with this. Cause like y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but when it comes to animals, like, hold on y'all. When it comes to animals and when you deprive them of certain things, the minute that they are able to get it, they kind of attack it. So for example, my mom had a cat and her cat wasn't allowed to go downstairs in their basement. So any little moment that my mama like opened the door or whatever, she used to run down the stairs and never came back up. So I don't want to deprive Sassy. Of course, once Big Bump gets here, first of all, Sassy is scary. So Sassy is not going to be all over her anyway. But I don't want to get to a point where like, for example, I say no every time to this and then the one little moment that baby bump is in here and I walk away, Sassy jumps in and, you know, makes a big deal about it. So I do want her to be familiar with the furniture. So that way, three months from now, she's used to this. She knows what it is. And, you know, she's used to that. Because if I deprive her and I walk away for a second or turn my back, she's going to try to jump in here and it won't be good. So I do want her to be familiar with all of baby bump's furniture before she gets here so yeah i'm gonna put two of like the little hello kitties right here so i'm gonna put probably some hello kitty stuff right here right there and right there and i also been like watching a couple videos about cats and stuff and then another thing too with sassy that i'm comfortable with is she's been around my little cousins and their babies and stuff like that so sassy has been around babies before and when i babysit it babysat my um cousin's little baby before sassy just smelled her feet and went about her day and sassy's old now she's six well she'll be six in may so birthday coming up so she'll be six in may so she's kind of older so she's not like a baby cat or anything like that so these are like transfer stickers i don't know if y'all know how transfer stickers work work but all you do is just put it on the surface that you want rub it and then peel the top coat off so i don't know if y'all can even see what i'm about to do okay y'all can see now oh this still gonna be a little bit too big let me try to cut the top part off a little bit more so you just kind of rub it on there Your baby, is your baby thing going to be Hello Kitty? That's kind of what I want it to be, kind of like Hello Kitty in a way. Honestly, I've been having a hard time finding anything Hello Kitty, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's been so hard finding Hello Kitty, like, the core. But I do want it to be Hello Kitty because I feel like a lot of people do, like, Minnie Mouse for babies and stuff for girls. I want I want to I wanna be basic. I want it to be something different. So, um, so far... This is the only thing that I got so far, like in terms of Hello Kitty. I do have a um at my mom's house. We went to Marshall's like last week. I found like a Hello Kitty um lotion dispenser. So I want to just fill her lotion up <laughs> inside of the Hello Kitty thing. And then I know Marshall's and stuff like that. Oh, it didn't go all the way. Uh, Marshall's and stuff be having like the Hello Kitty like pictures and like the little decor but i really haven't bought anything yet like i was saying because I, I was kind of waiting for a little while and then two i want to kind of wait until i get the dresser and bed set up first and then decorate around there so again this won't be so y'all see how like the stickers under now this won't be a one week project it won't even be a one month project to be honest this will be a project that's going to happen probably for the rest of the time, to be honest. So then you just kind of rub it, rub the sticker on there, and then peel it off. 
So yeah, y'all. Other than that, like I said, if y'all missed my announcement at the beginning, for the people who just joined in, her name starts with a N. I don't know when I'm gonna reveal it to y'all. Though. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna reveal it. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, I do know what I do. I do have. So she has a wooden name. She has a, a wooden name sign already. That's coming to my or that's coming Friday. And the movers, they go put it up probably. So maybe when I reveal the final look of the nursery, that's when. But no, the nursery ain't gonna be finished 100 percent by the time. We'll see. I gotta figure out how I want to tell y'all her name. I might just use the sign. I might just use the sign that I already got. What y'all think I should do? Because y'all know me. It got to be something. I got to do something. Y'all can I get the sticker off. Okay, well, I can't use that one. So, y'all going to order some more of these little stickers. I thought one pack was going to be enough. But I'm going to order some more so I can put some for our bottles and stuff as well. But we got 20 people out here watching. Hey, all 20 of y'all. How's everything going? With everybody else. And what y'all doing right now? Once I decorate this a little bit more, then we'll be done. I'm gonna do like a close-up view, of course, for y'all. Or try to put try to put it to the camera. So I can't I ain't trying to pick this big old thing up, but Y'all feel like my little sad part came out cute. I think my sad part came out really cute for me to, for me to this is my first time doing the sad part with a front tool. I think it came out really cute. What y'all think? Y'all think it came out cute? I feel like my hair come out cute in, on days where I don't got nowhere to go. Like I don't got nothing to do, nowhere to go. And my hair looks cute. But then on days when I gotta be somewhere, I don't feel cute. Like, don't don't y'all hate that? Like, I really hate that. Like, what is that logic? Like, what is that psychology? Like, the days where you be at home not doing nothing, you feel cute. But in the days where you're supposed to dress cute and want to look cute, you don't feel cute. Like, do that happen to anybody else or it's just me? Thank you. You just chilling? Yeah, that'd be me every day. Also, too, I guess I kind of can update y'all like my business real, real quick for people who's on here interested in my business. Um, merch is on the website. So I still have merch on the website available for purchase. Um, again, it is drop ship. So I want to just be transparent with y'all. It's drop ship merch. So when y'all order, it order and stuff like that. It's like a pre-order, I guess you can say. Um, also, too, for, for my business, I am. Um, I do have all of my ebooks still up there. All my ebooks are still on my website. They will forever be on my website. I also too made a bundle. So, for example, let's just say you are a jewelry business owner or a regular person trying to start selling digital products. I have my vendors list and two ebooks for sale for resale. So you can purchase the vendors list and ebooks without any of my logo design on it. And you can resell it. So, honestly, I feel like it's a good thing because the vendor's list, I make at least one sale. One sale every other day on my vendor's list because people are always looking for vendors to start a business. So, if you want to, like, add digital products to your website, you just can buy my vendor's list. Again, it's 30 vendors on there. Y'all know I'm not a scam. I've been in business for four years. And you can resell those vendors as your own. So instead of you taking your time to look for vendors, test the vendors out, make sure they're real. I do. I did all that for y'all the past four years. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've done all that for y'all. I've made sure all the vendors are real. They're not scam. And all y'all have to do is just resell it. So if that's something that you are interested in, if that's something that you are interested in, it is on the website, okay? It's on the website for y'all to purchase. 
the vendors list and two ebooks to go with it. So that way you kind of can sell it in, in bundles or you can kind of sell everything individually. You pregnant too, Shanice? So yeah, we July, Team July. I'm gonna just do one, like one Hello Kitty up here, one, one. So that way it's not too crowded, you know? So yeah, so I feel like, cause I know a lot of people have asked me that over the years, like, can we resell it as our own, this, this, and this? I'm like, y'all might as well resell the vendors list as your own. So I feel like it definitely will be beneficial for jury business owners because y'all already know everybody is always asking for vendors. They're always, excuse me, always asking for vendors and you can finally start to sell a vendors list. So take that into consideration. Everything is on the website. Are you pregnant? Girl, I ate a lot of tacos this morning. Um, so yeah, but yes, I am pregnant. I don't know where you been. I don't know where you been at, Yanni, but yes, um, I announced my pregnancy back in February. I am having a girl. Y'all, why somebody asked me? So like, I posted, a uh, um, like my video yesterday or whatever right and i post like a little um my tiktok and stuff and in the tiktok y'all i'm showing myself buying or like picking up hello kitty onesies and stuff like that why somebody asked me am i having a girl and no no they was like what's the gender of your baby and i'm just like i don't know if that person was being for real or was not but i'm just like if you watch the video you will know the gender of the baby based off the stuff I put in my cart. So, y'all, it, it'd be interesting. I'd be like, people be having interesting questions sometimes. Because, I mean, again, people were saying, oh, boys can wear everything girls can wear and vice versa, which they can. I'm not saying boys, baby boys can't wear pink. But I don't really think Nobody is going to put their baby boy in Hello Kitty clothes. Because I bought her some Hello Kitty outfits yesterday or well, two days ago. Whenever I went to the store. I think that was Monday. I bought her, like, I can show y'all. I bought her um, some Hello Kitty onesies. I'm trying to snag up as much Hello Kitty stuff that I can. But because she's going she's to be born in July, it's basically going to be kind of like mid to end summer. So by the time she's even three months old, it'll be October. And most of the Hello Kitty stuff that they have is just like summer, like summer stuff. I'm just like, oh my gosh, she can't even wear this stuff because by the time she's three months, it'll be October and it'll be cold, especially here in Chicago. Okay, y'all, I'm going to do one more row, and then I hope y'all kind of see what, like, what I'm doing. Can y'all even see it? So y'all see how, like, let me kind of, let me push it a little closer. Whew. See, y'all see? Like, I messed with the first one. Oh, it's on this side. But then that's the second one. So I think it's going to just be cute. Like, I don't want to overdo it. Like, you know, like, I don't want to overdo it. Cause then like once you overdo something that's when you kind of mess it up so i'm gonna just do one more row at the bottom real quick right here and yeah y'all i'm excited i think it's gonna be so cute i think it's gonna be so cute let me get another row and y'all i'm not gonna lie i like the fact that this thing this rose because i'm gonna be having everything on here i'm kind of like my little a charger on here. I'm gonna have like a lot of different stuff on this thing. So of course, like I said, as time goes on, of course, I will be recording and showing y'all everything. So let's do this last one, y'all. I'm gonna probably do I'm gonna save the one with the camera for one of her bottles. I think that'd be too cute on one of her bottles. So I'm going to just probably do like the one that say Hello Kitty. 
So this one that says Hello Kitty, I'm gonna just probably do it and just put the words Hello Kitty right here in the middle. Y'all see that? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just put Hello Kitty. Y'all, after this, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all everything that I kind of got her so far. Even though I always show it in every video, just just be used to it. Just be used to it. I'm, I'm gonna keep showing everything until until she get it. Y'all, these are so cute too. Even though these might be too big for bottles, well, I don't know because I feel like bottles kind of be kind of big and tall, so I kind of can like still wrap it around the entire bottle. I think I might go to the store. See, I, I don't want to go to Target. I kind of want to go to Walmart because I've seen that Walmart have, like, some cute, like, little baby stuff, too. But Walmart just be so ghetto unless I go to, like, a Walmart in, like, a different neighborhood. Because the Walmart that's closest to me, it just be too ghetto up in there. And then they don't be having nothing up in there anyway. So unless I go to, like, a Walmart. I might go to, like, a Walmart in the south, south suburbs somewhere or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm see. We'll see, but I do want to um, look for any anything else Hello Kitty. Anything else Hello Kitty, I definitely want to try to find it. Again, I also do have, like, my registry is up as well for people who do want to shop the registry. The Target, that was our registry is up, and the virtual baby shower with y'all on live will be May 11th, okay? So, so far, we have five girls. Five girls have purchased um, stuff from Restry, so I'm super, super excited about that. I'm going to open up everything for y'all, so if y'all do want to uh, send baby bump a gift, again, by all means, I'll be appreciative. Uh, the Amazon Restry is going to be linked in this video, and it's been on my channel, on my on all the videos I've been posting since I announced the pregnancy. Y'all, I'm trying to think. I'm honestly trying to get it together and figure out everything I want to put in these carts. It's like I be seeing like different stuff. Like I be seeing some people who put like clothes. I might not put no clothes in there simply because, again, like I said, we don't. I don't. We don't live in the house. Oh, this is so cute. We don't live in the house, so if I got to get some clothes out, out of here, it's really, like, right next door. So I'm not putting no clothes in there. I think the bedside nursery is just really for, like, bottles and stuff like that. Like, when you don't feel like getting up out the bed in the middle of the night. But I plan on, um, I plan on nursing. So we'll see how that goes, y'all. I don't know. I feel like unless these things do some overnight growing, I don't know. I'm I'm interested to see like how this is going to produce milk. Like the what the woman's body is just so interesting because right now I'm just like I don't feel nothing. But I'm not gonna get too deep into that because I don't want I don't want YouTube to be flagging my video, even though this is just talking about natural things, natural body, you know, things. But unless some miracles happen or something. I don't know. But I'm going to try to nurse. And if I'm nursing, then obviously I don't have to make a bottle because the bottle is going to be right here. So we'll see. We'll see. But I do. I feel like I'm going to still. Well, obviously, I would know before leaving the hospital, like, how the nursery or, like, how nursing is going or if it's going to be a thing that I'm going to actually do. But I was saying that I might still buy, like, some, um... I still might buy some formula. Cause I might do like a mix. I might do a mix. Anybody on here that anybody on here breastfed and bottle fed, like with the uh formula too? Like, did y'all do both or did y'all just do one or the other? Because I know my cousin right now, my little cousin, she do both for her second baby. So she said her first baby was a boy and he never latched on. So so she just did straight formula with him. But with her second baby right now, she's doing both. So she kind of like breastfeed and she also do um, formula. And she said she like it, the baby like it. So anybody on here do that real quick before I get off? You week behind you, behind me. I really love watching you because I get motivated by your positivity and something about pregnant pregnancy. 
You watching from Africa? Oh my gosh, where in Africa are you watching from? And congratulations as well. And yes, girl, I had to get excited. So naturally, like when you first find out, you don't really be that excited. I honestly, I definitely wasn't. I was just like, oh my God, like my whole everything's about to change. But as the weeks has been going on, and like I'm starting to feel her kick more and more, obviously. Because uh today, actually today I made 25 weeks today. So I'm starting to like, you know, feel her kick throughout the day. And then like, you know, I'm starting to like shop. So I'm starting to get way more excited and way more like less anxious than when you are in the first trimester. In the first trimester, you are just very anxious about a lot of stuff. Like you have you in Kenya and East Africa. Oh my gosh. So, like, at first, like, the first trimester, you naturally are just, like, very hormonal in general. And then you are also very, very, like, anxious about the baby because you don't really feel the baby move in the first trimester. Then on top of being sick, so you're like, oh, my gosh, like, is this hurting the baby? Like, for me, I had caught a cold, y'all. I caught a cold in my first trimester, too. And every time I cough or sneeze, I felt so bad. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I am hurting this baby. Like doing all that sneezing, your stomach crunching. It's 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 rough. But now that I'm in my second trimester, I'm actually in the last month of my second trimester, which is crazy. I'm halfway through the sixth month of my last month of the second trimester. So next month is going into the third trimester. And that means baby is on the way. But now that I'm like 25 weeks, I'm starting to feel way more like comfortable now than I ever have been. Uh, Cause I know, cause I do have my um, my best friend's baby. He was a 25 weeker. He was born at 25 weeks and two days. So, and he's a year and a half now. So he'd be a year and a half pretty soon. Um, so he was born in January of last year. And he's doing fine. Don't have any developmental delays, you don't have any physical delays, nothing like that. So, yeah, everything is going the way it's supposed to go. So, I'm excited about that. Y'all, this one's just not gonna stay. So, I think I want to just try to throw this one away. The rest of them are staying. This one just don't want to stay. So, okay, I think that one just is messed up. So, yeah, y'all, other than that. But like I, I I feel pretty positive. I feel pretty positive about everything. Y'all already know Sassy finna try to. I'm surprised Sassy hasn't messed with this yet. But she she coming, she coming. Um yeah, I might I might have to go to the Stokes. I, I I gotta get a bottle today. Or I might just probably run TJ Maxx, because TJ Maxx they sell bottles too. So I want to practice with this. Like I don't I feel like a kid at a candy store. When I get something new, I have to like do it now like i have to like mess with it now like i just can't like let it just be into next month like i have to decorate a bottle now so that's what i'm gonna do um this like little thing like i said for her clothes oh i'm gonna show y'all her clothes okay i'm gonna show y'all her clothes real quick so give me like one minute Y'all, honestly, this bag is full. So this is all the clothes that I've bought Baby Bump so far. Um, her daddy bought her daddy bought her very first onesie. So this is gonna be like the little baby bag. So we be so y'all. Let me tell y'all. This is another thing. This is another thing that I just learned from my personal self. Like for my personal self is honestly speaking. I have to learn how like to like just let certain like people or like certain comments just be or whatever. So for example, like someone was like, you need to get a different baby bag because that baby bag is not going to be good for your shoulders. And if y'all think about it, back in the 90s when we were kids and our parents were parents, they had bags like this that went on their shoulder. 
I just like people just say anything. So I do have another bag that's supposed to be coming, but it's also a shoulder bag. And then my boyfriend's sister in law got us a baby bag, and it's a backpack one. So technically speaking, she has three. Well, she's right now, currently, she has two baby bags, and I still want to get the Michael Kors one. But currently, she has one that's like this on the shoulder, and then she has a backpack version of a diaper bag. So, yeah. Okay, let me show y'all all close. This is what I got her. This is what I got her yesterday, y'all. This is Hello Kitty. It's onesies and it's um uh, what size is this? Three to six months. And it's Hello Kitty. And this is what the person was like. What's the gender of your baby? Like the gender of my baby is is obviously revealed by this. And it's like peachy pink. It's not like hot pink, like how I you know usually get used to, but it's like peachy. Oh, we got like the little okay. No, I don't. So that's why I got her. Um, it is onesies, of course. I gotta get her some pants, y'all, because she don't got that many pants. I'm not gonna show y'all all her pants though. So this onesies three pack. And then this one, y'all know if it's pink, if it's pink and green, I want it. Uh it's super cute. It's like a pink and green. So you got her pants, this uh the onesie. And it has like a little bow. Her daddy, her daddy want her to be in bows all the time. So I'm hoping that my baby come out with a head full of hair because honestly, I haven't had heartburn yet, but I want to knock on wood. I'm, I don't want heartburn, but they always say like, if you have heartburn, then your baby should come out with hair. But I feel like I haven't had heartburn yet. So hopefully she, she don't disappoint me and come and don't come out with no hair. But regardless, if my baby got hair or not, she going to be in bows because her daddy want her in bows. Um, Especially probably for like the first six months of her life, she probably gonna have a bow on every day. So I have found her out with a bow, and then of course it says "Mama's Girl," "Mama's Girl." Of course, of course, uh, Daddy gotta find him some stuff on his own. But no, nah, I just plan. I already, I, I have seen a couple like Daddy's Girl. I put some Daddy stuff, and I think he put some Daddy stuff on the Target registry. But if nobody buy anything from the Target registry, we just gonna find Daddy stuff ourselves. Um, like daddy's girl and stuff like that. So then she got just like two random pairs of pants. Well, actually four pairs of pants. So it's like two and two. Like I said, just random. Y'all, she got some Uggs. So this is everything that we bought, I bought, he bought so far. Just like little random stuff that I just been picking up week by week. So I started picking up stuff. I think uh, her dad bought her her very first onesie and she, I think, but we have to know that she was a girl because we bought pink. But I think that probably was like maybe what week fifteen. But for some reason, it seemed like we it seemed like we bought that onesie before we had our gender reveal. But at the same time, I really can't remember. But we had to have new the gender because he bought pink. And look, I told y'all so that's still getting inside of it. It's okay. So, anyways, I'll share that next. But these are some little onesies, not onesies, little uh Uggs. These are red. I wanted pink Uggs, but I couldn't find no pink ones. So we got red instead. Well, no, the pink ones that I bought was sold out. We got red instead. And y'all, she got some Zara. Okay, these are like the little socks that I just got. Two. Again, I'm not going to go through everything super, super long because I already just showed y'all all this in the last video. So she got some Zara. Y'all, I don't even own Zara. And she got Zara before I got Zara. So um this is a nine to twelve month shirt random shirt nine to twelve month but honestly these pants look a little toss awesome. nine to twelve months my, my my nine month old gonna be chunky so she might wear these at like six months but these they say nine to twelve months but i can't imagine a one-year-old is something this small i think one year olds will be bigger but this is nine to twelve months too according to them but knowing my baby she gonna be chunky because i was a chunky baby I was so fat, y'all, the baby. The doctors told my mama to put me on a diet at three months. A diet? My mama said, y'all got to be crazy. A diet? Because they, they told my mama that she was feeding me too much. And they was like, if you don't stop this pattern early, he's gonna, she's going to grow up and be obese. So they already had predicted that I was going to be an obese child. And look at me. Not even obese. Never been over 120 pounds in my life. So... I 
always say doctors, they suggest certain things. But at the end of the day, you know your child and you know you the mom. So my baby going to be eating everything, okay? So this is a little three-piece set. And this is six to nine months. Mickey Mouse. She's going to be a character baby. Like I was telling you on the video. Um, If y'all watched the video, watch the video from, like, from yesterday. But she could be a character baby. Like, I'm putting her all characters. Like, she could be a Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Hello Kitty, any type of like character, that's what she gonna be in. So this will be this is the first thing we bought her. Her dad bought her these. And these are zero to three months. Little onesies, long sleeve onesies, because she's gonna be coming in the summer and it's gonna be cold in the house. Mickey Mouse. Again, Minnie Mouse, I mean. And then this is newborn, y'all. So this might be her coming out the hospital outfit. We'll see. Cause I do want to buy her Burberry. I want to buy her Burberry, but I think I might wait and buy her Burberry until she take her one month pictures. So y'all know how people have been, how the babies take pictures like in the hospital. I want to wait until she's probably like one month old so she kind of can look real, real cute. Because I mean, babies come out, I ain't gonna lie, babies come out looking real baby, okay? I kind of want her to kind of wait like a month and then take her professional photos. So for that, I might buy her a Burberry outfit for the photos. So this might be her. Thank you. This might this might be her little coming home outfit because I feel like it's cute, like a little jean skirt. Both of her grandmas will probably be at the house waiting. Well, they might be at the hospital, but they come over the house, you know, first day home and stuff like that. Her grandmas. And yeah, that's what it's going to be about it. Nobody else comes to my baby until, I don't know. Just her grandmas. That's it. That's all. And then her granddad, which is my daddy, he can come. He can come. And then y'all, the rest of the stuff is just like little onesies. Her, oh, I didn't even buy these two onesies too. Like it says, I'm not milk drunk, I'm tit faced. <laughs> YouTube, do not block me, YouTube. Do not block me for saying that. And then this one, again, she wearing this around her daddy. It say, I cry at ugly people. Y'all, I don't know why. You, I do not know why he want my baby to be wearing stuff like this. But he bought it, so she go put it on. And then three onesies. Honestly, this is like by far my favorite onesie ever because it's pink and green. And then that's it, y'all. So that's the only thing I got her so far. And then she got another bow again. Like I said, he want her in bows at least probably like the first six months of her life. So, yeah, we go me and bows. So, that's all I bought so far. And somebody will come in and say, You bought your baby too much stuff. She's not gonna be able to wear all that. This is literally five little outfits. Five little outfits, y'all. No, actually, not even four outfits. It's only one, two, three outfits and two onesies. Three outfits and two onesies. Five pieces of clothing. Five. And how this is too much. But again, y'all gotta just learn how like to ignore the people on social media. Because you know, people, everybody gonna say what they gonna say. So you gotta just like let them say what they gonna say, right? Um so yeah, so again, that's all I read about her so far. And so I was like, that's just too much. She's not gonna wear all that. But then other stuff that I did about her, two of it is like six to nine months, to be honest. So that's everything I oh and she got like a little thing, y'all. I bought this too from Fab Below. Like a little Hello Kitty. I might go buy another one. So yeah. Mommy Anna. Mommy. Okay, y'all. I'm about to get off here though, because I've been talking for a good hour, and that's really good for me. I um, am out of breath. I'm very tired, okay? Yeah, these are so cute. I cannot wait. Like, I wanna like. I don't know what I want to do, but it's like a lot of stuff I do want to do. And like I like shoes display on the wall and stuff like that, or like little displays. Like I got all my purses like displayed. I feel like I want like shoes displayed and stuff for her. So we'll see. Now, one thing I'm not going to lie about, I'm not going to really buy her too many pairs of shoes. Like I bought these us because I just couldn't help myself. But she's going to probably get like no more than like five 
five pairs of shoes within like the first six months because honestly, it's really no purpose. She'll get a pair of shoes for church. She go have these Uggs for the winter and probably like two more, maybe like a little sneaker and then maybe like some um, like sparkly, like some sparkly shoes. So that's not really going to be it. Really probably going to be it as far as like the shoes. Like I'm not really going to be like, like y'all know how y'all, some people that be having, like again, this is not a judge because this, this is what they want to do. But y'all know how like y'all see some people be buying like they maybe so many like pairs of Jordans and stuff like that, like baby Jordans. Me personally, that's one thing I do agree with. I don't see the purpose of buying a whole bunch of like baby name brand shoes because that's one thing for sure that you know that they're not going to be to wear for a long time, for real, for real. But I guess if you have a boy, I guess it's different. But honestly speaking for her, she won't be having like too many pairs of like baby shoes, like especially the first six months of life. Like maybe, of course, once she start walking, she's going to obviously need shoes when she start walking. But she might not walk until, what, 11, 12 months, 10 months, something like that. So before she start walking, she probably won't get that many pairs of shoes because her feet won't touch the ground. These shoes will be so clean, you can lick the bottom. <laughs> but now, y'all, for real, for real, that's one thing I do agree with. I don't agree with, like, buying all them shoes, babies. Now, clothes, I feel like clothes is in the middle because babies throw up, babies have blowouts, and any blowouts she have, the onesies going to the garbage. I'm not putting no boo-boo onesie in the, in the washing machine. That's a no. It's going to the garbage. So that's going to be one less onesie and same thing with socks i did see this little hack to wash the socks in like a little laundry like a little laundry pouch thingy or whatever so um i do feel like i'm definitely going to put those in like a little laundry pouch and wash the socks in the laundry pouch because i did hear that baby socks just go missing all the time you know what i'm saying so um that's another thing too you can never have too many socks. You can never have too many onesies. Cause with, cause with the with the blowouts, baby, it, you whoop on that, it's going to the garbage can. Garbage. Garbage can. So um yeah, y'all. I'm about to get up off here. Cause I think it's like what three o'clock now. And I do want to probably go to the store or something. And I don't like going to the store super, super late. I don't like going outside super late or going to the store super late. Cause people be mm -mm. So, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Thank you for the ones that hung out with me. Thank you for the ones who talked back to me. And everybody else who watching this, make sure you go to the description box. Go over to the registry and purchase a, a gift if you would like. And I will be unboxing and opening up everything that all of my subscribers purchase on YouTube Live May 11th at 3 p.m. So, that will be our little virtual baby shower and um, a chance for me to thank everybody who did spend their hard-earned money on my little baby bump. So, I'm going to see y'all later.